Hey guys, today we're playing Assault Android Cactus, as requested by Patreon subscriber Sage Genesis. It's colorful, right off the bat, and its name is a word soup of what? Oh yeah, this game's multiplayer. Oh, this is what I got. This is who I am. This is Junior Constable Cactus. I've caught up with the civilian freighter and I'm on approach. Copy that. You're looking at the Ganky Star. It sent a garbled message three days ago before going silent. We need you in close to scan for anomalies. Weapons lock detected. Preparing for evasive maneuvers. Weapons lock? That's a civilian freighter. Uh, there's a lot of lasers pointed at me. I think it used to be their asteroid defense system. This is beyond the scope of the operation. I'm advising you to abort the mission and retreat immediately. And submit a mission failed report? I hate those forms. I'll take my chances with the lasers. Listen to me, Cactus. The hangar is sealed. There's no way on board. I think I see an opening. It's okay, folks. I'm the police. Commence being calm. That was amazing. I thought we were done for. Well, I can't believe you hit those robots with your ship. Oh, no problem. I do that kind of thing all the time. Save people or crash into things? Both? Oh, and so it begins. That's a fun little intro. All right. Yep. Standard controls, more or less. Shoot to continue. Let's go ahead and check a thing real quick. The... Oh, Android Select. You can be Cactus, or Holly, or Lemon, or Coral. That, that's why it said Cactus. New game phone, Infinity Drive. What? Oh, did I quit? Oh, when you go to the character select screen, it quits out, basically. Whoops. I was just trying to see if there was subtitles. But maybe there's no more dialogue anyway after, after that point anyway? I don't know. Accessibility, I guess technically. None of those are what I'm looking for. Oh well. Now that I've accidentally quit out. So assault and flamethrower. Seeker and cannonball. Spread shot and rocket. Shotgun and plasma field. Alright. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's play the tutorial. I exited out of it on accident. Skip. Both. <laughs> All right, that's where we get, that's where we pick up. Gotcha, gotcha. Keep fighting. We can push the advantage. Oh, that's the end of the voice acting. Defeat it. Uh, defeated enemies release energy. Collect energy to power up the primary weapon. There we go. We keep we just keep landing on dual stick shooters lately, I haven't aren't we? <laughs> Look at the size of that one. I'm gonna need the big gun. Ooh. Switch weapon slash dodge? What? How do I dodge? Or are you saying that me switching weapons is a dodge? Secondary weapons overheat during use and cool down while holstered. The meter on the floor shows the heat level. Oh, on the f oh wow, so it, it fills up fast. Oh, it's not a full circle though, confusingly. Oh, that's a lot of extra. That's a lot of extra. <laughs> and this has, I assume, four-player co-op. Oh yeah, I need to keep an eye on the battery. The battery always drains at a fixed rate. Taking damage causes a temporary knockdown, but the mission only fails when the battery drains out. Battery recharge is released from destroyed enemies. Collect it before it expires. Oh, that's- there it is. There it is on top of the screen. Oh, my stuff's gone. There we go. So, battery important. Don't take damage and whatnot. Hmm. I wonder if the entire party shares the battery in multiplayer. That's a really big battery icon. 
No, it's right there. Oh no. It was right there. Does someone want to fill me in? The ship's entire robot workforce is out to get us. Their masters, the four section lords, were supposed to be protecting us went nuts two days ago, and we've been fighting to survive ever since. We are not part of their little uprising because androids have independent cores, but that just means we're targeted along with the humans. Section lords can't take over ships. Your Nexus core is in charge. Why is she letting this happen? The core stopped responding three days ago. We were still investigating when the section lords made their move. Then our priority is getting your core back online. She's the one who can regain control. Someone, lead the way. Hold on there, space cop. There's a hundred thousand homicidal robots and three kilometers of ship between us and the core. Yeah? Who in their right mind would expect total strangers to follow them into certain death? Oh, right. I didn't introduce myself. Aha, there it goes. This is neat. It's like a, what do you call it? Saturday morning cartoon setup. Let's try out the different characters, it's like one each one each level maybe. Descent. Heavy freight elevator. Yeah, you get four colorful characters with distinct personality types. A lot of setup for what's otherwise a no-nonsense dual stick shooter genre where they especially don't bother with this stuff usually. Let's try out my super weapon. Whoa. Whoa. So my super weapon is I, I pop out like a... a th was that a... It's a sentry. Okay, so he, my character instantly pivots back to using... Whoa. My character instantly pivots back to using their uh, shotgun. You don't actually use this character secondary actively. You just place it down and it makes a mess of things. Oh, I have to I do have to shoot once to place it. I don't I don't just switch to it. Ow. Accelerate. Hee hee. Shotguns compensate for my aim. There we go. I forgot to actually use it. Oh, I've been down tapping fire. Oh there there's the secondary. I guess I don't have to ever stop aiming or stop shooting because you always you usually have infinite ammo in, the, in this genre. Not always. Definitely not in the, definitely not in like the uh, nuclear throne type ones that are trying to be more of a hardcore-ish survival experience thing. Oh, I didn't get the battery. They called it out even. Oops. Look at get that rank up. Get that rank oh. Alright. Next. No, let's go stage select. Then back. Holly, Seeker and Cannonball. I actually kinda do want to play this in multiplayer now. <laughs> oh. Problem is there's just so many goddamn games. We we have like in our multiplayer sessions we currently have like eight games that are fighting for dominance for any China kind of airtime. That and getting anyone in the larger group to buy set games. Oh god. So the seeker shots, yeah, are just straight up seeker shots. Pretty straightforward idea there. Otherwise we have that. Which seems to be a one-time fire. Yeah, so you so you also fire that one once. Didn't hit anything. Good job. So you switch to it really quick and fire off one powerful shot. And then you wait for the overheat meter to go away. Whoop. Here, here begins some bullet hell. This is why I get really disappointed whenever I see a dual stick shooter that just doesn't have much going on. Like that one, something in robots one, and the one I played a couple days ago. Not, not Serious Sam, but the one before that. Because it's like, it's a, there's, there's competition in this genre of like, actually kind of fun stuff. 
And frankly, there's been competition for a long time because Geometry Wars happened like 12 years ago or something. So if you can't even rise to the level of the first Geometry Wars, it feels like a waste when people put out low effort stuff. My god, I'm moving now. Well, this character's effective. Reminds me a little bit of playing the Huntress in Risk of Rain, just because I kind of don't have to aim. Yep, there's a higher score. There we go. Lemon, spread shot and rocket. Oop, there it is. Midpoint between having a, a normal single target uh, ranged auto attack and having a shotgun. Probably one of the favorable options, actually. Oh god, there are things around here. Enjoy rockets. So she fires three rockets. So Cactus is actually the only person whose secondary works quite the way that it feels like they would all work when you play the, the tutorial. Because she switches to a weapon that she gets to, like, fire away at for a while. The flamethrower. Whereas the other characters... Uh, this character shoots three rockets. And then the other two characters fire once. One far, fires off a Mega Buster Blast, basically. And the other one shoots, uh... What's essentially a sentry turret mine Tesla coil thing, which is probably my favorite one. Just because of the area control. My god, there's so many. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, I need battery. Oh my god. I can see where multiplayer would come in handy. That's a lot of things. Oop. Let's actually look out for the projectiles. Oh god. Nope, 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 nope. Not always great at the bullet hell stuff. And there's uh, suddenly a lot, as it turns out. Oh my god. Uh oh, yeah, tap fire. Quickly. Ooh. -hoo. That'll avoid some hits if I can take advantage of it correctly. There we go. Alright, who's next? She might be my least favorite. I'm not sure. Well, Cactus was pretty vanilla. I think it's just like the last two more. Hey! Brian J played this game. He's in the leaderboards. I just noticed that. I had not noticed that before. I guess I'll just keep cycling. For the sake of entertainment. Oh, probably should have focused on the big guy with that. Like this. There we go. Nope. I've got a choke point. I look at the firing pattern of this particular gun and I can't help but think of Metal Slug. Heavy machine gun! Hello! I have a flamethrower. Flamethrower! Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, flamethrower, very effective. And more satisfying a bit compared to some of the missile type stuff. In part because you can aim it. Uh, or in part because you need to aim it a little less, arguably. It's a close range-ish thing where you kind of spray on them so you can get more effective shots. Whereas the, the charge shot and the missile I would miss. 
by kind of flailing it away, and that was just bad news for me. Oh boy, that hurts. I'm very fast now. Uncontrollably so. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Kill. Oh, big guy survived. Not for long, though. Accelerant? That's not the accelerant. Shit. As long as I keep hunting the batteries, I can I have a decent chance of survival. And yeah, I do think that the uh, in multiplayer, the whole party collectively requires that battery to live. That's a lot of bad. That's a lot of bad on the screen. There's the shutdown. There we go. Clean him up with flamethrower. There we go. All clear. There's some strategy to this chaos. Like specifically waiting to use your ult when the uh, shutdown stops everything from moving. Oh, boss fight it looks like. I think. Let's do... Uh, let's do Holly. Homing shot could help. If, if it's a boss fight, which it looks like it might be, then I can focus on evading attacks while the uh, auto attack kind of finds the enemy. Oh, yeah. Embryo. Rats. Sneaky, filthy rats scurrying around my hold. But this is unexpected. It's Holly the bureaucrat. What's wrong? Am I late with an inventory report? Oh, there's got they got character specific dialogues. Uh, uh, embryo, you've uh, gone too far, and uh, and I'm here to stop you. So stop. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. All up in my business. Oh, the these attacks have this character has limited range to worry about. That's not going to hit, is it? No! Oh god, I'm bad at this. There we go. I did with the concentrated shot. Shut down. Okay, this one's a little easier to avoid while getting in the attack. Whoa! Calm down. Yeah, actually connecting my ults works way better. I don't know, I, I keep calling things ults, I can't stop. That's some- oh yeah. So that's how you- it's apparently how you get the batteries to come out, too. Ow. Oh, got tap fire. Uh, shh, crap. Okay, that's harder to avoid than you would think. Damn. I think at that point you just want to be up close. Oh god, new thing. Battery, save me. Save me, battery. Oh no, I had the power up. It got wasted. Okay, this is getting hard for me. Uh, oh god. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mr. Embryo, sir. Um, I'm really sorry. So I'm to be done in by my bookkeeper. Show some self-respect, child. You're not so useless after all. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I, I will make a note of that, sir. <laughs> oh, that score is not going to get very high, is it? Oh, I died. I went down so- I got down six times. Oh, no. I did a bad job, as it turns out. Ooh, there's more characters. Starch? 
All right. I was going to call it because a boss fight's a really way, uh, really clean way to end an episode. But yeah, let's try a new character. Ah, it's a continuous beam. All right, let's see your other one. Ooh, the micro missiles. Okay, neat. I wonder how many. Oh, I got nailed in the face. I wonder how many characters there are. It's a bad time for everyone. All right, this is pretty all right, this character. Uh, you can really see the specifics of my bad aiming, though, in full detail. I've never been great at dual stick shooters, but I'm, e I'm even worse if I try to play it with keyboard and mouse than I am when I try to play it with a uh, controller. Ooh, boy. You've awoken the hive. Destroy. Pretty wings. Oh god. Yeah, I think I want that. I think I want that speed boost. So this character seems to be rather simple. They just shadow what stuff looks like. Instead of saying mobility, they say pretty wings. And when everyone gets shut down, she says blue circles. But she just does very literal visual descriptions of things. As opposed to the other, the other character was definitely like shouting out what the utility of each action was. Saying shutdown and mobility. And firepower, I think. It's cool that it's, it's good that there's more than four characters. Considering if you played a four player game with four characters where they actually have different abilities. If there's, like, if there's an unpopular character, then somebody's just stuck with that character. If you don't ha have them unlock more characters over time. Oh my god. Oh, I might be in trouble. Battery. Nah. I don't like tapping fire very much. Something about hammering right trigger for a quick time event doesn't quite feel good. As opposed to a face button. Get that battery or we die. Who? Got it. Oh, she's picking her nose. All right. What does it even mean for an android? Oh, according to the game, I did all right. Wait. Uh, that must have been how far Brian played. He must have stopped at the boss, because now it's showing me on, on the global leaderboard as opposed to versus my friends. Alright, well that is Assault Android Cactus. If you want to check this out, you can check out the link in the description, the Steam page. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.